Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's a rainy day. Me and Kirby are out doing chores this morning. It's a rainy day and today is the day that the new duck gets to go wander off with the other ducks. They spent the night together. Let's let them out. I was counting chickens last night with Sophie and I was like, wait, we only have 22, we gotta go look for one. We need to go look for that 23rd one. And we were looking and counting again and counting and looking and couldn't find it. And so it was like, we got rid of the rooster. I'm like, oh, okay, so we lost the one. So yeah, we, we counted wrong because we forgot that we got rid of the rooster. That was kind of funny. So the ducks have been together last night. So we're gonna set them out. Set them out. Let them out. Let the ducks out. I don't know her name. I don't know your name. There you go. Follow. Follow your leader. Uh-oh. Why is the chicken hurting the duck? Chicken. The chicken is hurting the duck because that chicken likes to um, sit in there and lay eggs. See? Just find the spot to lay eggs so she was tacking the duck. But that will be the duck pen, so. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I just wanted to do a quick check on our little ducks because Sam opened the gate today and opened the, st opened the cage and let the ducks out together. Wow, it's actually freezing out. Actually cold. I could use a sweater. Oh, I see two. Uh-oh. Maybe we jumped the gun and did a little early. Where's... Hopefully you're trying to tell me something. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> trying to tell me that they were hiding there? Where's the new little girlfriend? Uh-oh, this sucks. Sophie's gonna kill me. Plus, that duck cost 50 bucks. You found your puddle, did you? Where's the other girl? Crap. There's a problem here. We've lost your new little friend and she was really expensive. Come on. Show us Toad, you show me where she is. Show me where she is. This is gonna suck if I lost Sophie's new duck. Well, <laughs> oops. So the reason I let her out was because Toad is, that white duck is such a sweet, loving duck. And they spent the night together and, that sounds weird actually. And he's like so caring and so good. <coughs> I'm just gonna see, maybe she like, Oh no, man, I'm nervous. Everybody stay in. You guys know where the little duck is? Sophie's gonna kill me. I can't find the duck. Oh yeah? Yeah. So I gotta put on a sweater. There's one of them there. I know, that's the one that, that we normally have. Yeah. That was bad. Well, it was in there. Are you sure it's not in there? Well, when you opened the go door, did they all go out? They all went out. Ah, I gotta get a coat. Do you see her? Oh, man. So this is the reason I don't like adding new chickens because you can't let them out for like a couple of weeks until they get used to everybody in the flock. But with ducks, our ducks have always been different. My gosh, the turkey's sliding down the roof. I feel like a guinea. So the reason why it's not good is because they end up being so scared that they hide. And the problem is with them hiding, there's like, there's a lot of places for them to hide. Oh, oh my gosh, it's stuck in the net. <laughs> what the heck? I found it. I was gonna get the net so I can catch it. Oh my gosh, she's actually stuck in there. Oh, that one, there's that bird. That's in scary. <laughs> It's okay. She probably would have called out to us. I feel really bad for her because she's young and she's new. She probably got scared and tried to run and then ended up caught in a net. Like, how do you get caught in a net? I might 
I'll go get some scissors. Nobody tell nobody tell Sophie, okay? Shh. I'm really disappointed in our ducks. All right, let's okay. take her in. All right, so we're trying to figure out what to do with her. I think we should bring her in. At least warm her up, even though I know she's a duck and she can get wet, but... I think we should get rid of those guys. I know. There. So that's the big <coughs> problem, is that all of our ducks, chickens, like to lay eggs in here. Yeah. Okay, ducky. All right, just wait. Why don't we bring her inside for a bit? It's, we brought our white gun. Well, she needs to be out here to get used to them. You guys are going to have to get out. They don't want to come out because they like to lay on the eggs. They all want to be mamas. Go that way, you silly. Every Nobody ever goes in this one. And now suddenly they all want to be in here. I think they're all interested in you. Don't worry. I'm so sad you were out there. Like, that's the kind of stuff that actually hurts my heart. Thinking that she was out there. God only knows how long. I mean, it's only been a couple of hours, but... Poor little girl. You bring one new thing into your chicken coop and suddenly... She's so calm, though. She's really friendly to people. All right, so they're going to have to find a new place to lay. And I'm going to have to get you some fresh food and fresh water. Hold on here. She is in there. Everybody's mad at her because everybody wants in there because they want to get to the eggs. I think the next idea is to lock her in there with all the ducks and keep her in there for a couple of days, weeks, whatever. Whatever it takes for them to actually be friends. You guys left behind one of your own today. That was so mean. Don't you think that was mean? Poor little thing. The fact that she caught herself in a net is just so weird. Like, <laughs> what are the chances? So, I just want to check on the goats. Why is my pig trying to climb up that thing? Okay, so ignore the pig. Probably wants the grain that's up there. Oh, there is grain up there. Oh my gosh, imagine he cl <laughs> climbs that thing. Everything is going to heck today. Today, I, I woke up and I thought everything was wonderful. I didn't think it was going to be a crazy day, but it's about to be a crazy day. So anyways, the thing about our goats is that they're not supposed to come into heat until next week. But sometimes when you introduce a buck, my gosh, the pig. When you introduce a buck to, to girls, it'll bring the girls into heat instantly. So even though they have like a week left, it threw them into heat. So Lola's been in heat and now Tilly's in heat. And the problem, because there's always a problem, like nothing is easy with goats. Like nothing just goes easy. So the problem is, is that he's short and we knew that and we it should be fine he should figure it out but it's better if you assist so this morning i tried pushing tilly up against the hut there and he was up on the raised step oh now they're all in heat holy moly and then i put him her like i put tilly in front of him so that he was raised up so he could fit but heaven forbid if he can do that because he doesn't like me being involved. He's like me near. He doesn't, he likes the girls to fight and run. So he wouldn't do it. So Sam, grab her and hold her. So I don't know if they're gonna get bread this month. And if they don't, it's okay. I love February babies, but I really wanted March babies because of the weather. <coughs> so we're just gonna wait and see. Don't even jump on me. I know, you're trying to get the grain. Don't even get fancy with me. No. There's a whole lot going on in this buck field today. Oh, don't even think about it. <clears throat> My goodness, I'm a lot taller than you. I mean, this farm is on a really good slope, so if he stands up there and they stand down here, it'll work perfectly. But right now, everybody's happy except for Lola. And I don't know if Lola just came out of heat or if she got bread or I don't know, but she's gonna have to stay here for another three weeks just so we can make sure. But they're, they're all together and they're all happy right now. <laughs> There's nothing like a girl goat in heat. All right, we're gonna leave them see what happens if they don't get bread this month that's okay I'm just glad I put it in put them in together so they can all figure each other out it's annoying <laughs> like I get too like 
stressed about stuff like that. I want to get them bred, but the whole thing is stressful because then you get stressed if it doesn't work. You have to know if it worked because you have to be able to put a due date down on your calendar so that you know when to expect babies. Otherwise, especially in the winter, it could be bad. Anyway, all is good on the day-by-day -day farm. It wasn't, <laughs> but it is now. It's literally been raining all day and none of the chickens are over here. They literally stay over where they can get out of the rain. The leaves are really starting to turn though. Every once in a while I find like a random beautiful leaf just laying on the ground. Do you know what my biggest fear about this winter is? Snow. <laughs> That's a good one. Because you're so short, <coughs> you get stuck in the snow. I'm literally not short. Do you know what my biggest fear is? I hate being locked inside. Like right now, I have my summer body on. Every year I have a winter body and a summer body. And last year my winter body said, this is not good. I need to like keep my summer body. It might not be anything to look at. I feel more comfortable in my summer body when I can get out and I can get moving around. In the winter, we go so fast. We do everything so quick because it's so cold. Sophie says it's cold out, I don't like it. I love it. You guys are dressed the same again though. That's not my problem. <laughs> That's not my problem. You know it's cold when there's no horses on the farm. Our horses hate the heat hate it yeah. and ow, you're stepping on my feet oh. and my kids and myself and my husband hate the cold i love this though this is perfect okay so this is my favorite thing to do is watch the horses and the dogs but i like to watch the horses and see who notices and the first one to notice us was lady oh look we didn't even have to call her she just and Posey, she's like, I see you, Laura. Oh, my baby. I'm coming. I'm going to give you a treat in hey, a second. Look at lady. She looks pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Lady, you look a little chunky. Come on. Come on. Target. Penny looked. She knows that one. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Lady. <laughs> They're lazy. It's too early to be supper. Yeah, they're like, it's not dinner time. What are they doing? Come here, Posy Bear. My baby. <laughs> Look at you. Why you gotta have such a dirty face? Here you go. No, nope, they're not coming. <laughs> Our horses are so lazy. Oh, look, it's Gracie. It's Gracie and it's Honey. And it's Honey. Honey and Gracie. It's Gracie! <laughs> oh dear, now it's all of them. <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what she did though? Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Stop before you pull a shoe. <coughs> we just wanted to say hi. Holy moly, Gracie, you're the winner. Here, Gracie. <coughs> Penny didn't have <coughs> Penny's looking to see if there's treats. Everybody's getting a treat but you. Get off of me, I'm standing on this rock. So, oh, here she comes. My old chubby girl. So, what's, what I hate about horses is that they run towards you. And if you just stand there, it's like a game of chicken every single time. You just stand there, nobody cares. Like, they're fine. They know what they're doing. But if you get freaked out and you run to the side, they run to the side. Like, they know where they're going, but they don't tell you, so you, then you end up in their path. Oh, I almost got creamed by honey. Come in, baby girl. Don't you worry. I always got you. There you go. Look at how cute you guys look surrounded by your babies. This one is annoying. This one. This one is annoying. That one's sassy. Sure. Super sassy. We just wanted to say hi. I just wanted to say hi. Now I'm leaving because I almost got creamed. So they were running towards me and then I was about to run out of the way because this one was coming so close to me and then she veers toward where I'm about to run. Yeah, she's been running all day. 
Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so tired of being sick. Stormy. You and rolling. The went past us. And then came back and was like, wait, yeah. <laughs> That's your boy, Gabby. <laughs> Penny? This is the closest I've ever been to her. I know. She, I love her. Stop. How do we get out of here? That's my question. Just walk. They're all following us. I hate that. Well, I hate horses. I know. I don't know why. I always regret calling them. Storm, I didn't give you one. So, so he's like, wait for me. No way. First one out is the, is the winner. Are you impressed with how long they've <laughs> taken to eat that thing down? <laughs> A week? One extra horse. When was the last time I put that in there? Well, there's still lots. Yeah, but when's the last? I time? mean, it's gonna probably last two weeks max. And it was a good three weeks. I we know. added one horse. I'm gonna have to order more. Yeah. But I'd rather just have it roll off the truck than where I have it, because now I have to like take the attachment off the tractor, put the tractor. Such is the life of a farmer. Wow, Sophie. What? I heard you nay. That was a storm. I'm not a furry. I saw this thing online the other day and I sent it to my sister. Wait, I got too many treats. And, okay. whew, and it said, like in the, eight, in the 90s, people are like, don't homeschool your kids, they're gonna be awful. And then, and, the, and then now, Kids go to school and they think they're cats. <laughs> it was funny though. <laughs> Come on Gabby, you know it was funny. I caught a smile on Gabby.